Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Manning Field for Catholic Center League Girls Soccer. St. Mary's looking for their eighth win of the year. They're seven, four, and two, taking on Arlington Catholic. The Cougars against the Spartans. Arlington Catholic is two, eight, and one. Arlington Catholic in the white, St. Mary's in the blue. And this is not going to be pretty, I don't think. We have one official, and he is not a young guy. He's all by himself down there as we're underway. Kylie Kennison in net for St. Mary's. Emily Murphy for Arlington Catholic. St. Mary gets it out in front. Looking to get a foot on it. It got blocked. They sent it out in front. And it bounced around. They get the shot and they score right off the bat. They score. It bounced and went right by the goaltender. Gianni Young banged it home. Thirty seconds in. So it didn't take long for the spotters to get on the board. Bouncing in front. It went out of play off St. Mary's. Arlington Castle will get the throw in. This is a very young team. They only have three seniors. Julia Downing, Allie Fritz, and Olivia Egan. The big scorers, Sophie Skavik is very young. I think she's a freshman now. Brooke Maloney is a sophomore. Those are their two top scorers. Um, Catholic is going to get the first corner kick coming from the near side. It's threatening rain. It's light out there. A little bit of a mist coming down. As Alan Catholic gets a head on it, knocks it out of play. The weather report is for heavy rain. And we're hoping we can get this one and the next one. There's, a, there's one more game after this. We're hoping we can get it in. Foot race, Arlington Castle will get there first. St. Mary's knocks it in to their own bench area. English and Chelsea girls fought to a 0-0 tie in the first game here. So we've had our first goal scored for the day. It skips right past, bounced right by the defense. I think that was Fritz. They knock it deep, looking for Maloney. They pick it off. They throw it to the net. It was just a little ground ball kind of rolled in. 
Murphy able to make the save easily, and she'll boot it away. Just pops it up and out of play. Off the side of her foot, went right to the St. Mary's bench area. St. Mary's trying to get it in front. It went by everybody. St. Mary's keeps it alive. They get a foot on it. Trying to get the shot off. They get the shot off. Murphy made the save, and then it got knocked out. I think it was Kabikas that got that shot on net. And then the Cougars knocked it out. And St. Mary's will get a corner kick coming from the near side. So we have umbrellas up with some of the fans. Out in front, they got a foot on it and knocked it wide. They get it out again. They got a head on it and knocked it in. We talked about their leading scorer, the young lady, Sophie Skabikas. She got the head on it and knocked it in. And we played five minutes, and St. Mary's leading 2 nothing as Arlington Catholic loses it out of play. And Arlington Catholic heads it out. So St. Mary's comes out flying. St. Mary's keeping it in. They slipped it by, but then on the Catholic, they pushed it too far. St. Mary's trying to keep it alive. St. Mary's trying to get the shot off. It, it got blocked by Arlington Catholic and went out of play. I think it was a woomy with the shot. Again, coming from the near side. Murphy got two hands on it, knocked it down, then grabbed the rebound. She'll kick it away. Catholic knocks it out. They knock it deep. It bounces by, but they quickly get it back and knock it off Arlington Catholic out of play. And the early moments is all St. Mary's with the 2 nothing lead and total control. St. Mary's went down looking for the ball. That's Maloney. They knock it deep. St. Mary's knocks it back. Down the far side. Looking to get around. Can't. Arlington Catholic took it away and then took it upfield and they knocked it off Arlington Catholic. St. Mary's goes down again. They're letting them play a little bit with that one official. They knock it very deep. Foot race. Aren't the Catholic hustling at great speed? And it winds up with St. Mary's knocking it out of play. Good hustle by Arlington Catholic. A 
light goes out, I found like a Catholic, St. Mary's will kick it away. I think this is Maguire doing the honors. Tip picked off by St. Mary's, but they lost it out of play. They knock it deep, along the castle will get back, and they knock it out of play. So once again, St. Mary's are going to throw in down deep. Now St. Mary's. We'll get a corner kick again. This one coming from the far side. Anken got a head on it, but knocked it out. Ten minutes in to this first half. Very quickly, St. Mary's scored. Less than 30 seconds into the, into the game. Trying to center it, Ellington knocks it away. And they knock it out. And St. Mary's will get the throw in again. Substitutions for St. Mary's. They got a foot on it. All they could do is just kind of touch it. It was off to the far side, off to the right side of the net. Murphy got it easily and booted it away. Pass is blocked. And Arlington starts it back. They push it by St. Mary's, but then St. Mary's gets a piece and knocks it out. Throwing down deep on the far side for the Cougars. And here he's trying to clear it. And they do. Okay, Kazak picked it off. St. Mary's takes it away. Breaking down. They push it down the far side. And it gets knocked out, I believe, by St. Mary's. Substitutions for Arlington Catholic. Arlington took it away. So here's a nice little bump trying to get it back. And it goes out off Arlington Catholic. So we'll come just about at midfield. And they knock it into the St. Mary's bench area.
Nice save by Murphy. Good hard shot right at the post. He held the post and made the save. And maybe he's trying to do more damage. They're really pushing Andre Catholic in their own end. Andre Catholic hasn't even tested Kennison yet. Kennison hasn't touched the ball. The kick by Murphy. Uh, knocked right back in the Arlington Catholic end. And St. Mary's takes it away. Tip down deep. On to Catholic. They lost it, I think. It goes out. St. Mary's going to get another corner kick. It was battling with Maloney. And they knocked it away from Maloney, but they knocked it out and gave him a corner kick. Coming from the far side. Out in front. Looking for a piece, they got a head on it. They missed with the foot. It bounced over their foot. It bounced out. And it goes out off Arlington Catholic. Fritz will put it in play. He takes it away. They get the pass to the middle, but it bounced over the foot of the intended receiver. St. Mary skips by. They knock it deep, trying to get there before it goes out. They couldn't. It went out of play. And it's almost impossible. The official is standing at midfield. That ball just went out of bounds, maybe half a ball. It's almost impossible for him to see that. He's all by himself. And he's virtually at midfield through all of this. They knock it deep. They push it ahead. The shot. Couldn't get a lot on it. That was... Maloney breaking to the middle. They got the pass. She had a one time. It, it was bouncing. She got it on net, but Murphy was able to make the save. They knocked it deep. I think Hazard took it away. Knocking it up. Didn't take the shot when they had an, an opportunity. And now the ball rolls and goes out of play. They'll get a corner kick, but they had a chance to get a shot off and didn't take it. Coming from the far side. Out in front, it rolled by, they swung and missed. It was bouncing. It went right by the net from one side to the other. There was a white shirt there. She tried to get it. It bounced almost hip high, and she just missed it. And St. Mary's will get the throw in. Well, of substitutions first for St. Mary's.
They knock it deep. St. Mary's will let it go out of play. They knock it deep. It stays in bounds. And finally it rolls out of bounds. Hover it right along the line. All the way up. Just as it got around the 10 yard line, it just kind of settled out of bounds. Halfway through and counting this first half. Two nothing. St. Mary's leading Arlington Catholic in this Catholic Central girls soccer matchup. They get out very quickly in the first 30 seconds or so. St. Mary's knocks it deep. Arlington Catholic trying to let it go out. They knocked it out. Okay, Catholic, and the throw is going to be almost like a corner kick. They try to center it. They knock it off. Arlington Catholic, and now it will be a corner kick. Coming from the far side. It's been all St. Mary's. They get it up. It's loose. It's got a foot on it. It's still loose. St. Mary's gets a kick. They bang it off Arlington Catholic and will do it again from the far side. That was, nobody could get a piece of it. It was bouncing high. And when they finally got a piece, all they could do was bang it off. The crowd of people out in front of the net and it went off. Arlington Catholic, and we'll do it again from the far side. Again, right out in front, St. Mary's got a head on it. That might have been a woomy. They knock it deep, but St. Mary's is there to pick it off. Now they knock it deep again. Fritz got there first. Bounced over St. Mary's foot. Again, they had a chance to get the shot and try to get in a better position. They wound up losing it. They'll get the throw in, but they didn't get the shot on net. Have substitutions for both teams. I was to say, I think we have a second official. I hope we do, because the one official is staying way back at the 20-yard line. He's 80 yards away. They couldn't save it. It went out. And again, 
it was Arlington knocking it out. Another corner kick. Arlington got a piece of it. And they knock it away, but they knock it out. Jim Harris quickly puts it in play. Down that far side. I'm not sure what that whistle was for. They were breaking the ball down the far side. The ball was still in play, but they blew the whistle. And they're going to give Arlington Catholic a free kick near the 15-yard line. I don't know what that was for. Now the kick is going to come. Actually, it's a, now it's a throw-in from down deep. I have no idea what that call was. I mean, I'm not adept on soccer rules anyway, but I don't know why they blew the whistle for that one. There was no contact. There wasn't a free kick. I don't know how St. Mary's could have been offside. They were bringing the ball down, and they were the only person there. They tried to knock it deep. They knocked it off the back. Oh, and she takes it away. Tries to center it. Blocked. She gets it back. St. Mary breaks it up. Andre Catholic shanks it off the side of the foot to the near side. And St. Mary takes it away. Everybody trying to get possession. Poked away. Andre Catholic finally knocks it deep. And the foot race, St. Mary's got there first this time. And they knock it out. And we'll have substitution again for St. Mary's. So we've been lucky so far with that heavy rain supposed to be coming. It, it's just enough to be a pain in the neck. It's just a, a light mist. You hardly even feel it. I went down to get Lance walking across the field. I really didn't get wet. So hopefully it'll stay that way and get the third game in as well. St. Mary's overran it. Alka Castle gets it back. And then Alka Castle knocks it out. Now they're calling it. St. Mary's is just about to throw it in and they give it to Arlington Catholic. They fanned on that pass. They knock it deep. Kennison will come out and play it. This is the only way she gets to touch it. These long kicks. I think that's her first time kicking it away. They try to knock it deep. I think Catholic knocking it deep. St. Mary's gets there first. Kennison was out, but the defense got it first. And now, I know there was, Arlington Catholic ran into somebody trying to get the ball. St. Mary's had it. They took it all the way to the sideline, and then they blew the whistle for the free kick. So that was a long time waiting for the whistle. Mears will knock it out. Still in control. Pass behind the antenna receiver. And they knock it out. 
Same here, so get the throw in. Two nothing, the Lady Spartans over the Anglican Catholic Cougars. Catholic Central League girls soccer. As we're well into the season. 14th game for St. Mary's. We only have four or five games left. It seems like yesterday we had the city tournament to start the, the season. They knock it deep. Maloney gets around. Still with it. Centering it. Couldn't get the shot off to pass a little bit behind. Now they're looking to take the shot blocked. They pulled it around the defender, one defender, but the other defender picked it off. And now I think they're getting St. Mary's for a push off. And Arlington Castle will get a free kick. Kept in by St. Mary's. Andre Kazakh takes it away. Blocked by the Spartans. They knock it deep. Maloney hustling. Boy, she's so quick. She went right around the defender, took it away, tried to center and it bounced over the foot of, I think, Skabikas. And now the ball goes out. I think it's off Arlington Catholic. St. Mary's is going to get another corner kick coming from the far side. <coughs> and we'll have mass substitutions for both teams. John Bolero is the head guy for Arlington Catholic. Jim Foley, one of the deans of soccer coaches. He's been around for a long time at St. Mary's. St. Mary's knocked it out. He's a valuable asset to St. Mary's. He heals, helps with the basketball team, coaches the soccer team. He's around doing wherever needed, helps out. Maloney, they're going to call her offside. She chips it wide left. Knocked deep, just one white shirt back there, and she gets it, knocks it out of play. So after St. Mary's got those two goals, they've quieted down a bit. They've kept it in the Arlington Catholic end, but they really haven't had much of a scoring opportunity since then. That first one coming, like, just about 30 seconds into the game. Mary's going to get called for knocking Arlington Catholic down. It'll come from midfield. And back downfield, we're going to see Mary's player down. 621 showing on the scoreboard clock, 2 0 St. Mary's as Miss Gagnon, the trainer, comes out to check on the St. Mary's player. I don't know if that was Egan. 
walking off. But I, you know, the one thing I don't understand is they had to play it down, and they waited until she got up and walked off, and then they called time out. So it's still 6:21 left, and it's still St. Mary's two nothing over Arlington Catholic. Kind of strange to hold up the game for an injury, and when the injury leaves the field, call a timeout. Kansas had to go high in the air. That was a long shot. It took a big hop. She had to go as high as she could to get her hands on. That was going to go under the top crossbar, and there were two white shirts sitting right in her lap. Nice job by the goaltender. And so he's got it right back in the Allen Catholic again. That took a couple of huge hops. And Tennyson had to go high in the air to pick that one off that was going to go under the top crossbar. And she gives even the hint of a rebound, there's two white shirts waiting to knock it home. With the rush, Hollinger Catholic lost it out of bounds. Five minutes and counting left in this first half. It's kind of quieted down a lot after St. Mary's got that first goal within 30 seconds and got second goal not a heck of a lot later. Since then, it's quieted down quite a bit. They knock it deep. Maloney had to turn around. The, the pass, she was... Looking for the pass to the inside, the pass went to the outside. And by the time she turned around, Hollywood Catholic had picked it off. Nice little shift. They knock it deep. Hollywood Catholic got a head on it and knocked it away. Blocked by St. Mary's. And it goes out off St. Mary's. Out of St. Mary's again. And they just threw it too far and went out of play. St. Mary's put in play very quickly. St. Mary's getting by, walking in with that speed, walking in, walking right in, takes the shot. And scores. That's Maloney. She got the pass. She's so quick. She was sitting between two defenders. She beat them both with the speed, walked in, and banged it by Murphy. She's a terrific athlete. As an eighth grader, she was a league all-star first baseman in softball. She's part of the girls' state championship basketball team. That got tipped away, and it went in the net. Kennison come out to get that. They banged it off Kennison. It went over her head and just very slowly went into the back of the net. Delilah, Delilah Terry. She, she hustled up. Kennison came out to try and grab it and squeeze it. And they came together, and Terry just kicked it virtually off Kennison. It bounced over her head and just slowly bounced 
and just stuck inside the far post. And Arlington Catholic gets on the board. From long range, they take the shot. Murphy will grab it. It was going to go wide left. From long range again, hit the post. It's loose, and they couldn't get control of it. Maloney, Skabikas shot it. It went by. It hit the post, and Maloney just couldn't get control. It was bouncing. She had to put a foot almost up to her shoulder to try and make contact, and it was bouncing around, and when she finally got contact, she knocked it out of play. They came awful close to getting their three-goal lead back. Skabikas beat Murphy, but it hit the post. Bounced right to Maloney, but it bounced way too high. Skabikas looking to get the shot. It goes wide right. Jim Foley is very aggravated that he has to be stuck with Maloney and Skabikas for another two years for Maloney and three years for Skabikas. And Mary sneaks in, but Anka Catholic takes it away. We're in the final two minutes and counting. as it goes out of play. I just watch the official checking his watch. They tip it up. Skabik is trying to tip it to herself. Andre Catholic knocks it out. On up in the seats. They blow the whistle and that's going to do it for the first half. So Andre Catholic gets a little momentum going in to the second half. They get that goal by Terry, but St. Mary's scored very quickly. They scored just about 30 seconds into the game. They got another goal by Skabika, so they got a nice breakaway goal by Maloney. And it's St. Mary's three, Allison Catholic one at halftime. We're underway in the second half. It took St. Mary's a while. I'll never understand why teams go to the locker rooms at halftime. Most don't. Some do. But when you go to the locker room, you don't see the clock and you don't realize when it runs down and you wind up. Allegheny Catholic actually had their team out on the field and St. Mary's hadn't appeared from the locker room as yet. They finally did. I mean, it wasn't a long time. It's not like it was a month. But all these little things add up when you're playing three games. You know, bus not getting here on time. A flock of injuries that stops the clock for long sessions during games. And then when you get to the 7-15 game, you look and say, why is my game not starting until almost 8 o'clock? Great hustle by Maloney. She saved that ball from going out. She just flew down the field. She used that speed. I would love to see her in a hundred uh, in a hundred yard dash. I think she would be a, a great track runner. In a hundred yard dash, I'd love to time her and see what she runs it in.
in Mary's Hustles, and they knock it out. That's Egan, I think, knocking it out off Arlington Catholic. Egan and Fritz and Maguire. Back on defense, I'm missing those three names. And Arlington Catholic knocks it out. St. Mary scored 30 seconds into the first half. Knock in from out in front by Gianni Young. And a pretty goal by Sophia Skabikas. And then a great rush down the far side. Maloney with that speed went right by. Split two defenders, went down deep, and banged it home. It was a 3 nothing lead. And then Delia Terry, a shot downfield, a long pass downfield. Kennison came out of the net to try and get it and kick it away. And just as she was getting it, Delia Terry got there at the same time she did and just kicked it, and it kicked it off T Kennison, and it bounced over her head, and ever so slowly just made its way inside the far post for the Arlington Catholic goal, and that's where we are, three to one, St. Mary's here in just about the first five minutes. And I forgot to mention, we have a brand new goalie, Shay Hirsch, is the new goalkeeper. I think she's an eighth grader. She's a 2027 graduate, would be graduate. And he calls, I'm not sure why they blew the whistle. I didn't see anybody offside. But I think that's what they called. Hey, Mary's will get the throw in. Down deep. And it got knocked out, I think. It's going to give St. Mary's a corner kick. Decent little crowd here for this one, and there's only a couple of umbrellas. It's the weather report was torrential rain, heavy rain, up to and including Friday morning. And hopefully, it's going to start a lot later. There's still one more game here. Classical has to play here, but the rain has been just a smidgen. Very, very light. And of course, everybody says, threatening rain, why wouldn't you cancel the games? 
and you just can't automatically cancel games here. There are times when you may have to, but you can't just do it all the time because, as we mentioned before, there's a mountain of activities that goes on here at Manning Field. Nowhere near activities that go on at other fields like at Arlington Catholic here or next to our neighbors, Salem, Peabody, Danvers, Swampscott, Saugus, Salem. They don't have the overabundance of just high school teams, never mind other teams. So well, this place, Manning Field, refurbished, I should say. They did an outstanding job, and it had to be done. And it's used almost 24-7. Rich Avery is the gentleman that oversees Manning Field and Fraser Field, which is now being reconstructed. They, they've been working on that for quite a while. They're going to, it's going to be all turf over at Fraser Field. It'll look like a brand new ballpark. Lynn is very blessed to have these two places. But it's used so much, so much activity, so much going on. There aren't many times you can drive by this place and not see people here. Even if it's just in the morning with people here walking around, getting exercise, walking, running. A lot of people use it for that. And Rich Avery does a great job. He has to put everything together. The scheduling and his job would be impossible if you cancel every time you thought there was gonna be a, a problem You'd never get the games in. Headed by St. Mary's, but they headed back the wrong way. They knock it deep off a foot. They have to go get it. They just kept it in. Now it gets knocked out by Arlington Catholic. Ten minutes in to this second half. Three to one, the Lady Spartans looking for their eighth win of the season. Headed away by Arlington Catholic. I think that's gonna be a corner kick for St. Mary's. They've had a few. Going came early, the first two, then it was a long layoff for a while till Maloney finally got that breakaway goal. And here's a header by St. Mary's right in the middle of the pack. Skabigas gets her second. Just talking about the goal scoring. Had a perfect corner kick. Skabigas got her head on it and knocked it in. And St. Mary's got their three goal lead back. As it's four to one. Nice little shift. Lost it, got it back. Pass picked off. Okay, Kathy waved at it, but then he picked it off. St. Mary's takes it away. Fritz knocks it upfield. And it got knocked out by St. Mary's. That was just by everybody. Popped up.
I didn't knock it deep. I don't think the Catholic knocks it out. A woomy with the throw in. It gets knocked deep. Hunter Catholic knocks it out. I think it's going to be another corner kick for St. Mary's. They center it. Hunter Catholic knocks it away. St. Mary's keeps it in. And Hunter Catholic gets the foot out and knocks it away. And it goes out of play. St. Mary's will get the throw in. Fritz kept it in. Allegan Catholic picked it off. Tip. Maloney wound up with it. Maloney has it again. Bouncing around. Still bouncing around. Everybody trying to get possession. And he finally gets knocked out. That was a woman stepping in, knocking it out. Headed away by St. Mary's. They collect it, coming down the middle. Trying to get around, trying to get a shot. It got blocked, getting it back. Finally, Alec Casa clears it away. Pass off the back foot of Arlington Catholic. Mary's trying to clear it up, blocked. Arlington Catholic had that one trip where they knocked it deep and they were able to tip it off Kennison for their long goal. Other than that, the game is almost exclusively in the Arlington Catholic end. Fifteen minutes in to the second half and counting. The mirror's well on their way to the eighth win. With this very young team. Trying to get around. Trying to get loose for a shot. Skavik is still with it. Tips it in the middle. Maloney bangs it to the near side. Goes off a foot. They almost set St. Mary's up for a shot. It just bounced off the foot. I think it bounced off Maloney's foot. She couldn't get the shot off. And now, Andre Castle will get the free kick just outside the 40 yard line. They tried to knock it deep, it got blocked. You know, Skabikas, I think, blocked it, and she, I thought she, I thought she blocked with her hand, because she kind of flipped her hand a little bit like it, it hurt. Substitutions for both teams.
Jim Jarvis keeps it alive. Now they lose it out of bounds. Kick in a field that got blocked and knocked out of bounds by St. Mary's. Uh, they pick off the pass. Oh, the throw in. Tipped around. Again, trying to get a shot off Skabikas, and it got blocked. It goes out of play. St. Mary's will get the throw in. Mary's takes it away, trying to center it. They give it back. Skabik is trying to get around, looking to try and get a shot. Down deep, sends it right across. It bounced, it bounced right over the foot of the St. Mary's player going to the net. Good bid by Skabik is with the pass out in front. And St. Mary's. It just went, stayed in the air, went over the, the foot and the leg of the St. Mary's player out front. I can't think how to break, but the, only, but the young lady breaking was all by herself against three defenders. St. Mary's fanned on the kick. Now they knock it deep. Maloney hustling to get there. And knock it to the net. It's loose. Coming out and sliding is Shay Hirsch. We're told I think she's an eighth grader. She just took it away as the blue shirt was going by, trying to get a foot on it, knocking it into the open net. Good hustle by the goalie. Hirsch. She's in there. The second half, it was Emily Murphy, the first half. Knocking it deep. Looking to get there. Skip by, but it bounced too far. Hirsch able to go out and get it. She'll kick it away. Halfway through and counting. The second half. Four to one, St. Mary's. Catholic Central League girls soccer. Knock it out off St. Mary's. And we got wholesale substitutions. Four for St. Mary's. Two for Arlington Catholic. They're calling St. Mary's for reaching around with both hands and holding off the Arlington Catholic players, so Arlington Catholic's going to get a free kick. Catholic 
have a minion. It was actually Kathleen Simmons taking the kick. They knocked it off St. Mary's. They knocked it deep. It's another foot race. And here's Maloney pushing it by. It's open. Maloney's going to knock it in. Great speed. Maloney kept it going. It got to the goaltender. She came out to get it. And when the goaltender came out to get it, she bobbled it. It went right on the foot of Maloney. All she had to do was knock it in the wide open net. So she gets her second. And that makes it five to one. As we start to get the rain starts to come a little bit harder. It kind of fogs up a little bit here at Manning Field. It's a, almost looks like a mini shower blowing across from left to right. Here, the only time you can see it is if you look up in the lights. Another whistle, and again, I don't know. She wasn't behind the defense. There wasn't anybody banging anybody, but they blew the whistle and now the castle go kick it away. They push her back because she come out way too far. They knock it by. See, maybe she broke it up. They try to knock it in front. They were going to kick it away, but then they said, ah, we'll let Kennison get it and boot it away. Takes a big hop and bounces deep. And Arlington will knock it into their bench area. Substitution for St. Mary's. Jimmy Foley going deep to his bench. St. Mary's picked it off. They get it back. Bouncing around. So Mary's trying to keep it alive. They pushed it too far. Alec and Castle were able to break it up. Madison Quinley kicked that a long way and kicked it out of play. Rain has slowed down a little bit. Down the far side. Skavigas trying to hold on, gets it back. Down deep. Still with it. 
sends it out in front. It goes off the foot of the goaltender. It's loose out in front. St. Mary's trying to get a foot on it. Nobody can get control. It was bouncing around. Arlington Catholic finally knocked it away. Free kick right around midfield. Loose. St. Mary's comes away with it. A little give and go. He pushed it too far. He has it broke it up and knocked it out. Three subs apiece for both teams as they get everybody involved. Going out off Arlington. All those young ladies are screaming about down there. There's nothing happening. I guess just for the sake of screaming, I guess. A couple of nice shifts looking to get the shot off. And it got tipped. Off the goaltender into the net. Last game we did here, Skabika's got four. The young lady now has a hat trick. She kept fiddling and diddling, spinning, getting around so it could get loose. She got the shot off. It was kind of a little pop fly. And the goaltender went to get it. And when she went to get it, she put her hands up. It went off her hands and into the net. And it's now six to one. St. Mary's, they got seven the last game. So Skabikas has got seven goals in, in two games. Ten minutes and counting left in this one. St. Mary's well in command, six to one. They're gonna pick up their eighth win. It's gonna be a tough bus ride back to Arlington. And that rain right now is just a pain in the neck because it's just fluttering across the field like a spray. Would be bad back in those days when it was in high 90s, we were taking this bit of a spray to warm us up or cool us off. 
We're just hoping it stays away and doesn't become a real problem with one more game left. Pushed it a little too far. They broke it up. So now he takes it away. Down the far side, trying to get around. And Alexander Calder got pushed it too far. And it goes out off St. Mary's. And he'll kick it away. And St. Mary's will make another substitution. Jimmy Foley getting to play everybody in this one. They knock it down. Uh, Catholic trying to knock it away. Skips past. And I think that's Alea marking it back up after she tracked it down. Pass. They just tipped it by. Pushing it. Uh, I guess like overran it. That might have been a woomy lining up the kick, trying to get it in front of the net. Like to put it in, but she wound up hitting it off the side of the net. Alka Castle will kick it away. Kips by everybody. St. Mary's couldn't get a foot on it. So it'll be St. Mary putting it in play. Out again. Fritz will do it again. And finally gets possession. Skip bounced right through the wickets of St. Mary's and Arlington knocks it deep. St. Mary's is there to collect and knock it out of play. It hasn't been down this end very often in either half. They do have the one goal. But they've been back on the heels playing defense the vast majority of this game. It bounced right by Arlington Catholic back in their end again. Uh, St. Mary's knocks it back. Knock deep. Arlington Catholic. They were looking to knock it out of bounds when Arlington Catholic actually kept it inbounds. Bodies go down as everybody's trying to get a piece of it. Let's see who they call. They're calling Arlington, I guess. St. Mary's going to get a free kick from the far side, just inside the 15-yard line. He knocked it in the net. Thank 
Riley McGuire took that kick and knocked it home. She's moved up a little bit. They moved her up. She's playing up front. She's usually one of their staunch defenders. But they moved her up. She's playing up front. She took the free kick and just knocked it over the goaltender and it stuck inside the near post the far post from where she was shooting the ball. But looking on your TV set, it was the near post. It just stuck inside over the goaltender. And usually they stop the clock at five minutes, but they're letting it go. So St. Mary's gets seven goals in their last two games here at Manning Field. I don't know if that's Philo McGuire's first goal. And the funny thing is, her father is here for every game. I coach her father in CYO basketball at St. Pius. Uh, an outstanding gentleman. He's usually here following with his daughter. He's a Great fan of his daughter. And he's not here tonight. And she scores a goal. They threw it way out in front, threw it too far and too high. Goes out of play. So we're down to the final two minutes in counting. She's using one of those one of their ace defensive players. I don't know if that's I, I don't I've done a lot of St. Mary's girls games. I don't remember McGuire scoring a goal. That doesn't mean she didn't. But I think it certainly would be her first goal this year. St. Mary's tips it out of play. But they put seven on both of their games here, at last two games here at Manning Field. They pick up wins seven and eight. They get a big win in the Catholic Central League. And they've kept it in the Olympic Catholic end most of the time. It was Gianni Young. Scoring just about 30 seconds in to the first half, getting the goal. Skabik has followed with a, a very pretty goal from out in front. And Brooke Maloney with a great breakaway, beat the defense, used his speed, walked in, drilled it, and scored the goal. And that made it 3 nothing. Delia Terry saved down to the Catholic from a shutout with the long pass downfield. Kennison came out to get it just as she came out to get it. Terry got a piece of the ball, tipped it. It went over the head of Kennison and just very lazily rolled into the net to make it 3-1. to one. At halftime, St. Mary's has a 4 nothing shutout in the second half. Skabigas got her first. Maloney uh, got her second. Maloney got her second. Skabigas got her third. And then Maguire scored to make it 7-1. to one, And that's the final score. So Ankhan Catholic will drop to 2-9-1. St. Mary's will go to 8-4-2. A big win in the Catholic Central League for the Lady Spartans, led by so Sophie Skabikas with three, Brooke Maloney with two.
Gianni Young chips in with one, and Riley McGuire chips in with one as they win it by a score of 7-1 to one over Arlington Catholic. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.